So in the last video I showed you how to derive this uh, schematic to produce a transformation of uh, red, amber, well, perform a set of transformations where we've got some traffic lights and we want a sequence of red, then amber and red, green, and then amber. Uh, so going back to our schematic, we can then use module sim to implement this. It's uh, quite easy now that we've uh, got the schematic. So we have an arithmetic unit, several registers to store the last state and the current state, and then we hook them up together and have a clock to alternately enable them and disable them. Otherwise, uh, you'd get fast loops if they were enabled at the same time. And we need some multiplexers to select between options. So here we've got a multiplexer to select between either two or one. And we also need to be able to select between addition and subtraction. So by default, uh, we perform subtraction, oh, which is that. Otherwise, we perform addition. I'm not going to bother sticking a control input to this multiplexer as addition is the default operation of this arithmetic unit. Uh, the way we're going to control these multiplexers is from certain bits of this register, which is our last state. I'm going to need a fan out to be able to pipe this into several different things. So we've got it going into the arithmetic unit and we also want to be able to select certain bits of it to perform transformations. So whether we select one or two is dependent upon uh, the first bit. Oh. So we're going to need to get the first bit out, which we can use using a split merge. Uh, let's turn that back around. Um, not having much luck at rotating this thing. Okay. So this just gets the second bit out. And I also want to get the first bit out, which I can do using left and right shifts. So initially I want to left, let's, let's draw this out. So I want to, I've got some four bit number and I'm, I'm, I'm interested in this bit here. I want to get rid of these so I can left shift by three places and then right shift by three places, which means I'm, 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 I'm left with this. So, if I just hook this up for now and chain the control input so as I want to shift by three on both of them and feed our value in, we should find that we now get the sequence we're looking for. So red, red, amber, uh, green, amber, red, red, amber, green, amber, red. And um, yeah, that, that, that's it. And I think that's quite difficult uh, in the respect that it's, 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 it's not a generic technique to figure out, um, to, to, to be able to generate these transformations just based on the last state. Um, and so it's only particular to this example, so uh, not particularly useful. In the next video, we'll look at some more generic examples, which are actually a, a lot more effective and scale in a much better way that allow you to create quite complicated things with uh, much more ease, I would say.